Hello my friends, since season 20 is now already almost over and season 21 is starting soon, I wanted to talk with you about the best heroes you can use to rank up quickly in the new season. If I'm not mentioning a hero you think is very good to push the ranks, write them down into the comments. We are going through the strengths of the heroes, but also their weaknesses. Also for this list I left out Karina, Natalia, Paquito and Alice. They are just getting banned too often, as that you could use them regularly to push the ranks. Enough talking, let's get started. First we have Benedetta. The first thing that is awesome about her is that you can use her either in the side lane or as a jungler. Which is always nice for your main hero, since it means you can play much more often. She has a super fast rotation due to her endless blink skill, can reach the back lane easily with her ult and take them down, and is super strong in any 1v1. Especially because of her second skill, where she basically have a free purify. The biggest downside for her is, I think, that she's quite hard to master. So if you want to start to learn her, use the practice mode. This is in general something you should do when you try to learn a new hero. Just go into the practice mode and really get confident with the combos for the hero you want to use. Another thing is that the ban rate for her is still quite high. So I wouldn't recommend that you use her as your only main. Next we have one of my favorite heroes, Jawhead. As long as he's not getting banned, you can use him in pretty much every game. Because you can use him on the side lanes, in the jungle and also as a tank. He's also perfect to target the carry of the enemy's team. Also his early game is super strong, so you can dominate the enemy early on. You can also use him very well to ambush any enemies and he's super strong in any 1v1. The biggest downside for him is that his damage is really falling off the cliff in the late game. Especially because the teams tend to stick together, in the late game he's having a hard time to deal his damage. Especially in the enemy's base he has really a hard time. So try to finish the game as soon as possible, before your enemies get the chance to make a comeback. Next on our list we have a hero who is really underrated in my opinion. Badang. With this combo he can easily wipe out multiple enemies, especially when you use Petrify. He's super strong to push the towers, which is really important especially when you play solo queue, and he's also perfect to ambush single enemies. The biggest downside for him is that you really need to know how to farm. Once you fall behind in gold and XP, he's pretty useless I think. Also like Jawhead, he's losing a lot of his strength in the enemy's base, because it is really difficult to catch enemies in the open field. Next on our list we have Cho. Do I really need to explain you why he is so strong? I'll do it anyway. He has super strong CC skills, a free purify with his second skill, high burst damage and is also very good in pushing the lanes. But he still has two weaknesses in my opinion. You need some quick hands to play out all his strengths. Also his skill set is more one target limited, which is not ideal for every situation. Next we have the most likely most OP hero in the current meta, Granger. You can play him in the jungle or on the gold lane but I would recommend that you use him in the jungle. He has super high damage of course, good AOE damage with his long range ult, fast rotation, can push very nicely, is quite easy to learn I think and also strong in all phases of the match, which most heroes don't have. The only two downsides he have are that he can get ambushed quite easily and that he's vulnerable to CC skills. Otherwise he's a great hero and super fun to play in my opinion. Next we have Saber, this we can make fairly short. He's the best hero to pick out a single target. So when your enemy have one hyper carry, you can easily take him out and in many cases that can be already enough to win the whole game. On the other hand this is also his biggest weakness, because all of his skills are only single target. So when there are multiple strong enemies, it can become really difficult. Next on our list we have Harley. You can use him both as a jungler or in the mid as support. Like Saber, he's also perfect to pick out a single target, even though Saber is still better at it. But for that you can also target with him multiple enemies. Also once you level up his first skill to have 5 rounds of cards, his damage is just getting insane in that time. The two biggest problem I have with him are that his push is not really strong and that if you are getting stunned, you are very squishy and can easily end up dead. But other than this, he is super fun to play, so give him a try. Now that we are halfway through, I would like to ask you to give the video a like, if you enjoyed it so far of course. It would give me some really nice feedback and also would be a nice reward for all the work I put into making this list. Also feel free to subscribe for weekly new ML content. Thank you very much. Next we have Chang'o. One big advantage of her is that she is super easy to learn. Her ult is also super strong in so many ways. You can damage the enemy a lot from far away, you can clear minion waves super quickly, you can steal buffs without the need to have having retribution and so on and so on. Also she is quite good to push the towers especially for a mage. The weaknesses of her are that she's really reliant on her enhanced skills. Once you got poke and lose your enhanced skills, you're becoming really weak. 
so you have to wait until you can use your second skill again. Also it's quite easy to ambush her and her ban rate is also pretty high. So again, I wouldn't recommend that you use her as your only main. The next hero is Selina. First she have a ultra long stun with her second skill, can be super annoying when you poke the enemy consistently with your first and second skill and she can one shot many heroes with her combo. Also another thing that is very nice is that you can give your team vision with your traps, which is a huge advantage in any game. The biggest downside for her is that it's quite difficult to learn her and that you will have a hard time of catching really good players with your second skill. Next we have a hero who's not getting used that often. What I don't really understand, Matilda. She's the perfect support hero to engage or to save low teammates. She's super OP in the early game and has a good mobility, which is really important for a support hero because you always want to be in the middle of the trouble. The downsides for her are that she's also quite hard to use because you really need a good timing to use your skills and that you're still reliant on your teammates. When you play with a bunch of dogs, it's pretty hopeless. The next hero we have is Brody. Of course, his damage is super high, especially when you melt down the enemies with your ult after you put some marks on them. With your second skill, you can push easily enemies away who are coming too close to you and he's not too reliant on the help from a tank, which sets him apart from any other marksman. The two downsides from him are that at the beginning he's really weird to play because he's so different to any other marksman heroes. Also, he has no escape skill, so you really need to know when to engage and when not, so you're not getting caught up too easily. The next hero is Hanabi. I know many players don't like Hanabi, but I think in the Curimator she's one of the strongest MM you can pick. Once you reach the late game, she can easily delete the whole enemy team. She's also super strong to push the towers and has a good lifesteal to sustain in ganks. The downsides for her are that she's reliant on help from a tank in the early game and that once you fall behind in gold and XP, it can get really difficult with her. Also, since she has no escape skill, she's an easy target for any assassin. The second last hero I want to talk about is Mia. Like Hanabi, she's a late game monster and can push her towers very well. Unlike Hanabi, she can escape easily with her ult and also can use it very well to ambush any enemy. Otherwise the downsides are the same as Hanabi. She need help in the early game and when you fall behind, it get tricky. And even though she have an escape skill, when she's getting one shotted it's pretty useless. Now to the last hero and also one of my personal favorites, 1-1. One -one. Once she built her core items Corrosion Scythe and Demon Hunter Sword, her damage has just increased massively and she can turn around many ganks with her ult. She's also very good in pushing towers and at least in my opinion not too reliant on tags. Even though her damage is really low in the early game, with her second skill she can easily escape many difficult situations. Of course another weakness is that when you fall behind, you and your ult are really useless. Your ult is not dealing enough damage to be really useful. Also you really need to learn how to activate her ultimate. Without her ultimate, 1-1 one -one is really weak. Now you may have noticed that I didn't mention any tanks. My problems with tanks are that you cannot really solo carry a whole team with them, which you have to do many times when playing solo queue. That's why I wouldn't really recommend that you all the time play as a tank when you're solo queue. Still, it would be really good if you know how to play one or two. So if you're forced to pick a tank, you know at least what you're doing. I would recommend that you play Tigreal or Kufra. They both are quite easy to learn and have a ton of CC skills. Also, I think they are very fun to play, at least when your teammates are not full dogs. For some of the heroes I mentioned, I made a hero guide, so you can directly learn how to play him and rank up quickly, hopefully. See you over there!